Well, hello there, Oasis family. I hope that you're doing well today. I just wanted to catch you for a moment and take that same moment to speak into your life. Well, how did you guys like the launch of Oasis 2.0 last week? On that note, I wanted to take a quick second and just give a shout out to Rod and Jacqueline, who are our September Servants of the Month. Thank you guys. I appreciate the both of you and keep up the great work. You know, one of the things that we're doing during the launch of Oasis 2.0 is that we decided as a church to be praying for 35 days for revival. And so as of today, Friday, we have 23 days left of praying for revival. What that means is that if you haven't been praying, guys, I encourage you, start praying. For those of you who have been praying, I know I've talked to you guys, I've, I've called you guys, and I hear the great stories of how you're starting to see fruit being bared in your own life. And I, too, am seeing some great things that God's doing in my life. Now, the thing we have to understand about revival is we have to let God do the work God wants to do. You know, when we pray for revival, yes, we, we want to see God do some powerful things, but God also wants to start with us and work in our own heart. So when we pray for revival, there may be some things that God needs to tear down in your heart, and then He needs to want, be the one that builds things where that got torn down. So let God replace the old with the new. Now, what we talked about last week was we talked about giving where you're living or the Give Where You Live campaign. Last week we talked about give where you live when it comes to serving, trusting God with your hands. And the thing that we came up with last week was that saved people serve people. We're all called to serve, not only because the Bible tells us, but because Jesus modeled it is in his own life. And so this upcoming Sunday, two days from now, we're gonna talk about evangelism. Give where you live with your faith. Because there are people in your life, there are friends, family members, co-workers that God wants to reach, that God wants to impact for His name and His glory, and He wants to use you to be the one who does it. So I want to encourage you guys, show up, bring some friends, bring some family members, bring some co-workers, get on Facebook, email people, do whatever it takes, bring people to God's house because God is doing some powerful things things at Oasis. And the last thing that I want to encourage you about is like I told you last Sunday, this Sunday I want to make sure that you bring your smartphone, you bring your iPad, uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to impact the world for Jesus from our very seats at Oasis. So not that we should just sit down all the time as Christians, but even while we're sitting at Oasis, we can be impacting the world for Jesus Christ. We're going to find out how on Sunday, but again, bring your smartphones, bring your iPads, whatever you got, bring it, and we're going to see how God continues to do powerful things at Oasis during the launching of the Oasis 2.0. So I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Look forward to it. God bless.